All right, guys. Um, so something I wanted to get into also today was um, a lawsuit that is transpiring with uh, Aya, Aya, Aya. However you want to name it. All right. Uh, so this is from nurses.org. This is a. This was posted on da, 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 August twenty third, twenty two. All right. So this year in August, um, this is a uh, travel nurses sues Aya Healthcare. Um, alleging bait and switch tactics. So if you don't know what bait and switch is, so baiting and switching is telling an individual or individuals, um, for example, I have $500 for you if you go to Florida. You go to Florida, guess what? I switched it on you. Now you don't have $500. You won't have $100. So that's what um, bait and switch is. It's telling you one thing and switching it to something totally different. Uh, and that's what these nurses are claiming. So I'm gonna read a little bit of the article. Uh, da, da, da. Aya Healthcare is facing a potential class action lawsuit that alleges the company regularly cuts pay rates in the middle of contracts. That's big right there. Cutting, once you cut a person's pay rate and the contract, you as a traveler have the right to leave, break that contract. The issue with that is once you leave that contract, you will be blackballed from that company and potentially that hospital. Aya is one of the biggest travel companies that is has so many um, comp so many hospitals that they're locked into personally on a one on one where you can it's a a, a self direct hospital so they only work with potential certain hospitals. That is big if you are interested because Aya has. Um, different spots that a lot of people like Hawaii Florida um, Atlanta they have popular destinations people love and being blackballed from this company and certain hospitals that are locked in that branch could hurt your career as a traveler the lawsuit was filed by three travel nurses and makes the claim that the company practices in bait and switch tactics that is big that is this this is something to uh to to push it back real quick this is not the first time this happened with this particular company there's a couple of, if you put in this company's name a lot of tactics like this pops up with them uh the issue was a lot of travelers was just just take it they'll just if you cut a traveler's pay on their assignment a lot of travelers will take it because they're thinking like well i did transform my or my uh if a nurse nurse has to pay um a nurse has to pay for um, certain things within that state to be a practicing nurse there, right, for their license in that state. So once you're there, you're like, man, I'm already here. I already paid for it. Let me just suck it up and just pay. A lot of people will take it, you know. Even a lot of te travel technicians, technicians will just stay there, be like, well, I'm already here. I already paid for my Airbnb for the month. I already flew or driven here. I already purchased food to be here. So let me just stay here and just figure this out. And then once the sign me up, then leave. You know, people, a lot of people deal with this particular company because they have special locations and high pay rates. Their high pay rates are bait and switch a lot of times as it's stating in this. The article is going to be linked in the description box below. I need you guys to check it out. Be mindful with dealing with certain companies. Always do your research. Get uh, reviews. Ask the company about hey, if you speak to an IA recruiter, ask them about this lawsuit. Like, listen, am I, will, you, will you put me in a situation? You want to know before traveling, all right? It's always a good part to travel, but I need to show you the bad part as well. This is a bad part. I personally have never dealt with this, but um, this is something that can happen. Let me read. Let me just look through a little bit. The, the lawsuit will be in the description box below. Uh, it has a lot of... has people's names on it. It has... <laughs> It has a lot. It has a lot going on. It has a lot going on. But uh, like I said, inscription mouse below is going to be there. Uh, check it out. Something quick.